Welcome to Coding with Neo. This is the MBOT2, also known as the MBOT Neo, from MakeBlock. You program it with block programming just like you do in Scratch. So if you know how to do Scratch, it'll be easy for you. I'm going to skip all the how to connect and disconnect and upload and all that stuff today. We're going to be programming in live. We're just going to do some simple shapes. So we're going to make him move around in some simple shapes and you have to get an extension called the MBOT2 shield so that you can control his motors. And let's start off doing a square. So if we want to move forward and then turn left, let's go forward 20 centimeters. Let's see if that's far enough. And we need to do that four times to make a square. And we'll just make him go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 20 centimeters was enough. And just make him go around in a simple square. And of course, 90 degrees makes a square. Let's do three turns at 120 and make a triangle. And I'm just clicking on it to make it run. Just like in Scratch, you can have when the green flag's clicked. Did it really make a triangle? It's a little off. There's a little slippage depending on your surfaces. So sometimes you can't get the exact right shape or the exact same distance. If you say 20 centimeters, you might get 19 out of it. Besides just moving forward and turning left, there's other controls. You could move each wheel a certain speed. Let's just move forward a certain speed. Let's go back to doing a square. All right, so we'll move forward at 50 RPMs, RPMs, revolutions per minute. Then we'll turn, let's do a square. Let me get rid of all this. Okay, so turn left 90, and we're going to do 50 RPMs four times. We have a diamond going on here instead of a square close enough so what happens if we go 100 revolutions per minute See if he can handle 200. Getting a little bit more room to go here. Here we go. He's climbing up my lamp over there. He's gone. Okay, so let's not do it for a second. Let's do it for a third of a second. Popping wheelies. What can we do next? We need to make a circle. How can we make a circle? If we go forward and left and forward and left, that's that's going to be too jerky. That's not going to make a good circle. We need to play around with some of the other blocks. What happens if we move the left wheel at 50 RPMs for one second? So we're moving the left wheel, which makes him turn right. 
what happens if we move the right wheel for one second? That is making him go backwards. So it's the right wheel, but the right wheel is rolling backwards. So when we use the right wheel, we need to do negative. to get what would we would expect to make him turn left. So if we have the left one and the right one, that is not going to be going at the same time. They're going to go after each other. <laughs> He's going to zigzag. If we want him to go at the same time, we got to pick this one. So we got the left wheel going forward and the right wheel going backwards. That's going to get us forward. It's going to make us lose him. Because that does not have a stop. It doesn't say one second or for a distance or anything. So we got to stop motor and go find him. So if we wanted to make a circle, all we would have to do is make the left one go less than the right one. So I think that's pretty good for our first lesson. We can make a square multiple ways. We can make a triangle, a circle. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the lessons of Coding with Neo. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.